Hello, everybody. Welcome to the 2023 Grammy. Let me rephrase that. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my 2023 Grammy Awards. This is how the Grammys should go, in my opinion. This is how it would be if I was running the show and if we didn't have, you know, artists that weren't making, you know, good music. So this is this is this is for artists that I love um, based on the 2022 calendar year. Um, I didn't do all the Grammy categories here, but I picked a few, um, including the the big ones, um, and then a couple extras. So the video doesn't go forever. But feel free to jump on this as a thread. Um, it's kind of a fun thing I came up with today, um, and I thought it would be interesting to see how it goes. So without further ado, let me show you my Grammy award winners. So for best box set and historical release we are going with tom petty and the heartbreakers live from the fillmore of course this is the 1997 live set came out late last year um produced by uh, mike campbell and ryan U uliate U i can never pronounce his name right um uliate I i'm not sure there's a great documentary on youtube with um, a couple of the heartbreakers and ryan and Tom Petty's daughter, Adria, discussing this box set. But again, I've talked about this before. You have four discs of absolutely nonstop rock and roll. It is just a knockout release, and it is well-deserving of a Grammy for the best box set or historical release. So Tom Petty, congratulations on winning a Grammy this year. Uh, next, we're going to go with Best Country Album of 2022 we're going to go with can i take my hounds to heaven by tyler childers this is the three album um, set that came out by tyler childers um, outlaw country singer songwriter um, again fantastic um, raspy voice uh, i've said it many times he's an acolyte of john prine he toured with prine he's just a couple years older than i am i would say his early 30s and he put out a killer album of three discs. Each disc has the same songs on it done in different styles with the third disc not being great. But based on the merits of the first two discs, this wins hands down for best country album, Can I Take My Hounds to Heaven by Tyler Childers. So congratulations, Tyler, on country album of the year. Let's move into best new artist. Now, this is the first solo release by one of my favorite singers and again he's one of my favorite bands that would be of course mr oliver wood and his debut always smiling that came out um i believe late in 2021 so it does indeed count for the grammys this year but um just fantastic music on here um he does some covers like the battle is over but the war goes on um Again, songs like Kindness, Roots, Get the Blues, Climbing High Mountains, Trying to Get Home is an older song. Um, Americana at its finest. This album has Ted Pecchio on it. John O'Ricks. Um, it's also got some background vocals from Susan Tedeschi. Um, John Medeski from Medeski, Martin, and Wood. Of course, Chris Wood, his brother, is in that trio. Um, is on Oregon on some tracks. Um, Nicholas Falk. So really, really great stuff. Um, yeah, so Oliver Wood, congratulations. You are the, um, best new artist of 2022. Congratulations. Um, next we're going to go to song of the year. Ooh, what could it be? We're going to go with the, from the Dirty Knobs album, External Combustion. Of course, that's Mike Campbell of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers fame. We're going to go with his duet with Margot Price on the song Home um, is the State of Mind. Actually, it's just called State of Mind, but um, it should be called Home, parentheses, State of Mind. But anyway, State of Mind, Dirty Knobs with Margot Price, an absolutely gorgeous song. Um, duet with Mike and Margot singing this beautiful ballad. Um, you know, Mike's just got this longing in his voice where he's singing, you know, home is a state of mind. It sounds like it could have been something off of uh, Southern accents. Honestly, it's just a beautiful ballad. 
Um, there's that line, you left a hole in my heart big enough to drive a truck through. It sounds like Tom Petty. Um, so State of Mind by the Dirty Knobs, Song of the Year. Congrats, boys. Now let's go to Record of the Year. Now there's always a little bit of a confusion between Song and Record of the Year. Song is based more along the songwriter, um, whereas Record is more in line with the production. So we're going to go from this great album called Gold Rush Kid by George Ezra. We're going to go with his um, single off of this called Green Green Grass, which is an absolutely just fun, optimistic, upbeat song. Um, again, just great, great production. It's a great summertime, you know, ride in the car kind of, um, kind of tune. Again, I've talked about George Ezra before. He's got a voice like Rick Astley, um, kind of that, that deep baritone type voice. And I'm just double checking here. Um, this was produced by, um, Joel Leslet Pot and Stuart Price. So congrats to them and to George Ezra on record of the year for the song Green Green Grass. It's very, it's almost even got like a Paul Simon, like Graceland era kind of feel to it. So please check out that album if you like fun, optimistic pop, uh, Gold Rush Kid, George Ezra. And the big one should come as no surprise if anybody watched my 2022 roundup where I talked about my favorite releases. For um, album of the year, we're going to go with Now and the Evermore by Colin Hay. Of course, Colin Hay was the original lead singer for Men at Work. He's been touring the last few years with Ringo Starr and his all-star band, but all the while has stayed very active in his solo career. Um, this album came out last year. The year before that, actually, I think less than a year, he put out a covers album. Um, he does some great versions of some Beatles songs in there. He does a beautiful version of Waterloo Sunset. I know my, my buddy Adam over at What the Gym just saw him solo acoustic. Um, sent me some videos and he sounds fantastic as I knew that he would. So congratulations Colin Hay on the album Now and the Evermore being named the album of the year for 2022. So there you go, folks. There are your Grammy Awards. Um, you can finish your Grammys here in less than eight minutes. That's pretty good. You know, you don't have to watch all the you know other trash that was on in terms of the uh, you know songs and artists that you don't care anything about. So let me know what you think of this. Um, let me know if you do a video. If you do, please comment and let me know that you put one up, and I'll like to see them. So in the meantime, y'all be good. Take care. Subscribe. All that good stuff. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.